Hi, and welcome to the HT2 channel. This week, we are going to introduce you to the ShakeAlert Early Earthquake Warning System, which is now available in Washington. So sit back, relax, and get ready for this week's session. Welcome back to the HT2 channel. I am Kelly, and I will be walking you through today's video. Today, we introduce you to the Earthquake Early Warning System, also known as ShakeAlert. The ShakeAlert system is an earthquake early warning system that detects significant earthquakes and quickly sends alerts to people to warn them of the impending shaking. This system is not predictive, rather detective, and provides the people that receive the message with seconds to make critical decisions to seek a safe area to drop cover and hold on. Here is a video outlining the science of how the system works and what type of an alert you would receive. What would you do if you have seconds to prepare for shaking from an earthquake that has already begun? More than 143 million people in the United States are exposed to potentially damaging shaking due to earthquakes. Most of our nation's earthquake risk is concentrated in highly populated areas on the active plate tectonic boundaries of the west coast of the continental United States. The U.S. Geological Survey operates the ShakeAlert Earthquake Early Warning System, which is part of the Advanced National Seismic System. ShakeAlert is not earthquake prediction, but a ShakeAlert message issued by the USGS indicates that an earthquake has begun and shaking is imminent. With even a few seconds of warning, Shake Alert can save lives and reduce injuries by alerting people to take a protective action such as drop, cover, and hold on. Shake Alert further protects people and infrastructure by triggering automatic actions, such as slowing down trains to prevent derailments, opening firehouse doors so they don't jam shut, and closing valves to protect water systems, and to stabilize equipment during life-critical situations. How does Shake Alert work? When an earthquake occurs, seismic waves carry energy in all directions away from the epicenter. P waves, similar to sound waves, move quickly through the ground followed by the slower and generally more damaging S waves and surface waves. Sensors detect the seismic waves and send that information to a shake alert processing center, which requires that at least four sensors detect the earthquake. If the earthquake fits the right profile, the USGS issues a shake alert message. Distribution partners then produce and deliver an alert to people and trigger automated systems. Alert delivery can be before, during or after shaking from S waves and surface waves. Alerts can be delivered to people through apps designed for cell phones and other wireless devices, over public address systems, TVs and radios, and by FEMA's wireless emergency alert system, WIA, which is also the source of AMBER alerts. For every earthquake, there is a region near the epicenter where alerts will not arrive before shaking begins. That's because close to the epicenter, the P and S waves are too close together and the shake alert system needs time, often just seconds, to estimate the earthquake's magnitude and shaking levels before issuing a shake alert message. That means that people close to the earthquake epicenter might not get an alert until after the shaking has already started. Those farther away from the epicenter could receive more warning time before shaking arrives. If an earthquake continues to grow in size, additional shake alert messages might be issued, updating the estimated magnitude and expected shaking for that event, which will result in alerts being delivered to a broader area. The USGS recommends that when you receive an alert, you should take protective action immediately. Do not wait for shaking to arrive. If you are near the coast in a tsunami-prone region, it's important to get to high ground quickly, but only after shaking stops. Before traveling to a new place, Learn about both the local hazards and the recommended precautions to take by reading information found in the city, county, or state's emergency management websites. Knowledge of your surroundings and practicing protective actions are critical components of preparedness for any disaster. Always remember, if you receive an earthquake alert or experience shaking, drop, 
cover, and hold on until all shaking stops.